So don't forget to make some for your craft booths or to sell in your Etsy store or even for your house at this point. So let me show you what, what we got going. Hi, Juanita. Oh, good. I see you. Hi, Carlin. Hey, Sheila. Hi, Bonnie. I picked up this kind of cool looking container and it's this kind of, it's a different, it's a slightly different yellow than these, but I like that we have all the different yellows going. And when I saw it, I said, you know what? I bet we can use this for uh, candy corn. And I um, got this at the at-home store, guys, okay? I picked it up there. It was on closeout from the summer. So y'all, make sure you're checking all your normal stores you run into and see if they have anything cool like that that you can use for uh, different seasons, okay? Hi, Teresa. Hi, Linda. Um, I'm going to use two big pumpkins in it, and then this is going to be our big filler. It's got this kind of mustardy yellow, and then it's got the yellow that's more the container yellow, which I love. It goes with all the candy corn and stuff like here, okay? Hello. Yeah, it's been so long. You feel new? Oh, I'm glad you're here with us. As always, I'm glad you guys can join us. So let me bring the glue pot over and move some of these candy corn away. And I've got a selection of candy corn. We're going to have a pop of black in there too. We're going to use some of the lollipops. And I'm going to use a couple of these fabric candy corns also. So this is all in the traditional orange and yellow and uh, white candy corn look. So if you can kind of see that's our color palette we're working with. But if you're going to get on some of the new pastel trends, oh my gosh, all of that stuff just got here. And I'm, I cannot wait to show it to you. We will be uh, blowing up your feed with that. That is fun stuff. I love all the, the candy, especially for Halloween. It seems to be the time of year that we sell more type candy designs with Christmas and Halloween, of course. Doesn't that make sense? So my container is ready to rock and roll. I already got some uh, floral foam in there. And I'm not going to use Spanish moss like I normally would because we're going to use tonight for filler, we're going to use the black garland. Okay. Pat, I did have a good day. How about y'all? This is my little lazy Susan that I like to use. It's a pretty one, but I like to use that when we're creating. So I can just spin this dude around as much as I need to. All right. The first thing I'm going to put in, um, is the pumpkins. Okay. So I'm going to get some dowels in. Terry says, I, at first I wasn't sure about the pastels, but now I love it. Yeah, they're fun. They're fun. As you design more and more, you'll just be like so excited to have something new trending. It's just fun to work with. Okay, so I'm going to get these in first. And this is going to be a really big and bold arrangement. So I know I'm going to have, I'm going to have to pan out a little bit, guys, for you guys to see. Sorry, you're going to see the whole work area today. It may not be pretty, but I've got to pan out for uh, YouTube and Facebook so you guys can see what we got going on. All right, I'm going to take this and have this at an angle in here. So what I want to do is get my awl and pop some holes in there. The problem is sometimes I don't put stuff where it goes when I'm done with it. And I have no one to blame but me. Like, why is this level in here? That level is not supposed to be in the organization area. If I can't find the awl, man. I can use my, um, I can just use my scissors, but so much easier when you have the proper tools. I don't see if I had it over here. Hold on. I'm coming back. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, hi, Sue. Oh, you're so sweet. Your favorite designer. You're the best. I am good, Sue. Oh, this one has a little hole we can go in in the bottom. Yay. Um, I love that these are covered with this nice felt material, but it is a little thicker. So use an awl to pop it in. Ah, uh, hi, Cindy. Thank you for being with us. I'm going to put this at an angle, so i got to kind of angle that skewer in. Y'all, I'm slightly under the weather. I, I'm trying to be chipper, but I'm a little bit dragging for the last couple of days. I have just been a little bit, I think, overdid it. So, uh, but I'm still having fun with y'all creating. And the dang hot weather is back here in Houston. We had rain and a little bit of overcastness and then just came back and got us. Hi, Renee. So first pumpkin's in and you see how whimsical it is kicked out to the side? Okay, way out to the side. 
Okay, and I'm gonna put the other pumpkin in over here to the left, just kind of going one on the right, one on the left. I should do a TikTok now and spin that around. I love making TikToks. I'm like addicted to them over here. <laughs> I love making them and, and spinning stuff around or catching something. Uh, well, I and we're not telling everybody about me falling, but up until the falling point, I really loved them. <laughs> All right, here comes my next pumpkin I'm going to pop in. And I'm going to put that at an angle. Let's put her in. And just make sure you're leaving these long enough to get into that foam. Whoops! That one will never find that stick in here. It's gone into the, to the depths. There's a seam on the pumpkin. I'm just going to try to get it to the back here. Totally cool with it. So this is what we got. We got a, one to the right, one to the left. And now I'm going to start to kind of build out my back. Okay. And get a little height. Now this is going to match the kitty wreath we made a while ago. With the kitty and the pumpkin, the really simple design we did. And I want a range with this fairly simple, but it's going to have the same color. So just a little bit of pop of black, orange, and yellow. It's going to storm there, Sue. Oh my gosh. Lisa, we do have the pumpkins in our shop. Oh, you fell last week too, Kit Kat? Oh my gosh. Yeah, me too. Trying to do a tick TikTok. Trying to run. My knee is recovering from the first surgery and it's like, what did you do to me? So I'm going to take some of these and cut them into some picks. This is the black garland we have in our shop. Yes, we have the pumpkins in the shop. We've got everything um, is in stock. Some of it might be kind of low because this we had this at the beginning of the season. So the quantities might be kind of low what we have left. But uh, we'll post a supply list for you so you can see everything we have available after. Hi, Carol. Good to see you. So the black garland is very versatile at Halloween. It gives you a nice inexpensive filler. So you can definitely use this to fill in anywhere where you'd normally use greenery in a floral design. We're using this and little sections to, uh, we'll be tucking it in in a little bit. I'm not going to do that to the very end because I'm going to use all the picks and things first and then we'll kind of stuck stick this down in to hide. Oh, you're baking, Sue? Oh my God, it must be so much cooler there, Sue, than here. It's got to be much cooler. Okay, let's get our primary candy corns in. Um, good for you, baking. I'm sorry to poopy baking. I'm just like, it's so hot. I don't even want to see a, a pumpkin. Pumpkin anything. I don't know why the lighting looks weird on here on TikTok. Uh, hopefully you guys can see okay. All right, let's add in. I've got this pumpkin also, but I'm going to break it up with a couple of candies in the background first, which this is where I'm adding the black swirly lollipop. Let me just, I got a little chenille coming off here. Let me fix it. Repair. Sometimes you got to do a little repair. Okay. I got that fixed. I'm going to have this one go in the back. Okay. So you can see a little bit better here. It's going to shoot out the top of the arrangement. It might be a little bit high for you guys to see where I want it in the video, but I'll show you at an angle. Unfortunately, I made this one pretty high for the camera angle, but oh well. I'll, I'll, I'll tweak it where you can see it. Right? It's in the 70s. Oh, I am still sweating. Hi, Robin. Okay, so you can see my spacing. See how I've kind of got it between there and it's adding that pop of black to the center. And I'm going to take and we're going to add some of those picks around it in a minute. Y'all, I got to move my camera up for these poor folks on, uh, on the uh, YouTube and y'all, the, the workroom's a hot mess. So don't, don't look, don't look Ethel. It was too late. She'd already gotten a free shot right there in front of the home team. Okay, the black one's in the back. And I'm going to also use a black one kind of in the front here off to the side. You're struggling getting in the mood for, especially when it's so hot. I know, Terry, it got a little bit cooler and we like got so excited. You can see it good on Clara. Okay, good, Clara. Hi, Clara. Good to see you, Chica. I'm glad you to say hi. 
Claire, Claire is our fashion diva up in San Antonio. All right, I shortened up this one a little. We're gonna put it in the front. So I've got a little bit of that black color in the front and the back. We're gonna kind of go off to the side and just pop it in, okay? Look how cute already. Look how cute you are. And they'll just spin it around just for fun. That's how I feel today. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, now, I am gonna put some of these candy corn right here in the front. We're gonna tuck these in and just have like a little candy corn party in the, party in the front, business in the back. There's one. I'm gonna put the next one a little bit tighter than that. I love when we design with big elements like this because it fills up quickly and you get this really fun, whimsical look. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Bonnie, your mom passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry. Hi, Brenda. Okay, I'm gonna use a little black kind of underneath there to hold these candy corn up a little like that, okay? You went to Walmart? Yeah, girl. It was like I died in there. I took, uh, Kaya had volleyball this morning. We went to all kind of volleyball stuff and watched her friends play. And then it was just back to sweltering misery. And then, uh, then it started pouring. Okay, so I've got a pop of lollipops. I've got some candy corn going. Now I'm going to put the two taller candy corn here in the back, kind of beside this one to kind of come out the top and then we're ready to add a bunch of that whimsical pieces to get the uh, you know I like it to look wispy whether it's candy or not I like it to look wispy if it's flowers or candy or both or doesn't really matter okay let me look at it my way and see what I like oh god it's cute let me tuck that one over if this one look here you guys see over here Look how cute so far. I can bring you guys up a little bit. Oh my god, how cute is that? Looks cute. Now, you guys over here, what do you think? We got good bones so far. Okay. Hi, lady. Good to see you. Um, yeah, let's get our little curlies in. Our, well, they're not really curlies, they're they're like marshmallows and balls, and this is where it's going to get really, the party's going to happen. So when you need a filler for a design that has bigger elements and it doesn't have the florals and things, don't be afraid to just get in there with something um, like this. These kind of picks are perfect for that. So let me take and pull them apart first. Oh my gosh, you've got a recipe for the pumpkin bar, Sue. You know everyone's going to want you to post that now. Feel free, Sue. You get the recipe. Put it in the comments. If anybody else wants to uh, be cooking in the 100 degree weather, the pumpkin bars, to get them in the mood, do it. <laughs> do it. All right, I'm just trimming these down, guys. Just trimming them down. So when you use picks like this, you tear them which is the easiest way to do and it's better for your hands if you design a lot not to be over cutting um we've got to clean up that edge so that's what i just did okay and if you're in design school you know i'm going to say shake hands these are all wired so difference between stuff like this and the stuff you get at the regular craft store is we try to have things wired so your stuff looks like a million bucks all right let's start to design out here i'm going to go in the center Oh Lord, that was just the iPad. Jeez, the iPad ejected. Get out of here, it's showing me ballet tickets. Well, I like the ballet. What world ballet series coming to Stafford? Oh wait, time out. Pardon me, I gotta buy tickets. <laughs> uh, all right, I got one piece coming out the front. Now let's get some of the pieces going up. Bring these balls to the front. Hi, Judy. Oh, Sue, it's one of these days. It, 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 I'm just, I try to be professional, well put together, you know, put on this really polished thing for y'all. Not today. Today it's a hot mess, but what we make is going to be beautiful. 
if it turns out a hot mess, I'm still going to like it. Still going to love it. I'm going to have this piece coming out of here. So I'm really working on getting my flow going, coming out of the center. You want it to look like an explosion has taken place coming out of here of candy and goodness. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Going, going. Hi, Asia. Good to see you. Oh, you love candy corn? Me too. Some people hate candy corn, which I never even realized that. But I actually like candy corn. Which I didn't know that was means I'm a weirdo. But I should have known it meant I'm a weirdo. What do you guys, do you guys like candy corn or not? <laughs> it doesn't matter if you like it or not. It's stinking cute to decorate with. And I don't like to do any type of really scary Halloween. I will do skeletons and things. But I like Halloween to be fun and and not too creepy. Terry says, I ride on the Hot Mess Express daily. Terry, girl, same. Same. Same, same, same. And I'll be honest with you. If something's a hot mess, it's usually the type of thing that goes freaking viral. If something's all put together and nice and we've got it executed and like the, the links are working and everything's like, oh, this is so great. That kind of stuff. It's like crickets. <laughs> Okay, I added some more to the middle. I'm spinning it around so everybody can see. Uh, hi, Dink. Good to see you. Uh, you eat it with the peanuts, Sandra. Lori doesn't like it. Susan loves candy corn. I love to hear y'all's opinions on this stuff. Because I am filming from so many different angles. You're just going to keep seeing me spin this around a million times so everyone can appreciate it. <laughs> But keep utilizing these wires because I think that is one of the nicest things about this piece. We can spread it all out and just get it going on. I tried to go to Home Depot to play with all the scary stuff for you guys today. and uh, But it wasn't all out yet. So I'm hoping we could get more of it in the store so we can play with it. Okay, so my shape's coming together on the front. I'm still working on it. But here we are so far, guys. I'm loving it. You put the peanuts with the candy corn. Right? Oh, yeah. I, did. I never heard of this. I never heard of peanuts with the candy corn. Hi, Carol Ann. Right? Candy corn colors are awesome. Aren't they pretty? They're just so fun to put together. They really work on a door, too, because they pop. They're great for the season. And they're just fun. All right, here's my third pig. I may have to do four, Nicole. I, I think I'm going to add four because I'm in love with this stuff. So I'm going to keep adding more in here. And then I'll put that little filler grass in towards the end. I don't need that yet. That's kind of just to cover up the moss at the bottom. And it's a garland. All right, well, that looks good. See, here's my front. Sue is steadily posting her recipe, guys, for her... Um, pumpkin bars. So y'all need to do some screenshots. They are world famous pumpkin bars. And you guys, if you all want that recipe, it's over here on Facebook. Okay. Sue is putting it in the comments. So it will be there on the replay also. Thank you, Sue. All you crazy people cooking. You have so many Halloween things you want to create, but you're intimidated to get started. Hey, Patricia, no worries. Just get in there and play. With, just play with some and have fun. You know, just, just play with a couple. You don't have, to, don't have to overthink it. Just get in there and play with it. Oh, my God, this is getting a great shape going. Look at this killer fun shape. Ooh. Mama, mama, mama. Yeah, yes. Yes. It tastes like a payday when you add peanuts to it. Y'all are blowing my freaking mind about the candy corn situation. Over here on TikTok, there's a whole chat about how candy corn with peanuts tastes like a payday. And I'm like, what the, what the what? I got, you know what I got to buy now? Okay, Sue says, then you put the cream cheese, frost, cream cheese frosting for the top. Sue, my God, this is like amazing. This is not like a basic bar. Next level. All right, so the recipe is on Facebook. 
guys. TikTok's got the discussion about the payday bars. And I don't know what's going on YouTube right now, but I'm sure some kind of some kind of chaos is going down because that's the kind of video we're having tonight. Hopefully there's no weirdo freakies. Freakies over there being freaky dicky. Okay, let me trim these down. We're gonna continue. So you can see how these wispies are making the whole design. So it's important. That's that's where you want to spend your money in the fun, fun, fun uh, wispies. Melted candy corn dipped in chocolate makes a butterfinger. Whatever, whatever. That I don't believe that. Now we got a payday butterfinger situation. You gotta be kidding. Who who in the hell is melting? I'm sorry. Who is melting candy corn? What is wrong with y'all? I mean, does it last in your home long enough to melt it? What the heck? I'm spinning it around. I'm going to pop a little more black here in the front to the left. So let me look at it for a second. What the heck? Renee, what size pan? Lower it, Renee. You've got to just figure out the pan. The poor... Jeez, Renee wants the directions from the pan size. Renee, you got to wing it. you just got to wing it. Okay, I'm going to put some more big candy, candy corn in here in a second, but I got my pop of black. Now let me go to the back here and add a couple back here. I'm just harassing you, Renee, of course. Like, people are screen grabbing the recipe. I'm trying to get get rid of my hot flash today. Whew. Uh, right, Terry? You got to do TikTok. Pay, I mean, sorry, you got to do payday bars. You got to try to do the Butterfinger, and now you're going to have to make bars. <laughs> Renee doesn't want to mess it up. Renee, you, you've got this girl. They'll eat, like if you get too big, look how cute that is. If you do too big of a pan, Renee, they're thin bars. Too thick, too small of a pan, they're thick bars. See? Either way, it's a win. Okay, I'm going to put some more of these chunky uh, candy corns in the front. This is so cute. What are we baking? Dallas a recipe is up in the comments. So if you can't see it now, come back to the replay. You can, you can catch the recipe. Sue is posting an entire recipe for um, pumpkin bars that she cooked today. And I gave her a hard time because I'm like, it's a friggin' 100 degrees in Texas. Claire, yes, all of this is in stock, you guys. So wherever you're watching, you got to Cleas.com, K-E-L-E-A-S.com. You click on supply list at the top. I'm going to give you a little hint. It'll have a supply list and it'll have a link to this video. Oh my God, look at this. It's like candy corn palooza. Isn't it so cute? Uh, thank you for sharing with us for sure. Okay. Sugar overload, Sharon. I think everyone's just like on a, a high here. Oops, shooty patootie. Everyone is ready. Ready to get their baking on. I'm just looking for like 85 degrees, guys, and then I'm ready. Just, just, I need it a little cooler. Okay, I'm gonna go more right here. I'll turn around and show you guys. And of course, I get some finished pictures posted um, in the daylight. <laughs> See, right, Renee? You, you need to know the details. Okay, I won't harass you. Renee, I would be buying the, the bars from her. I wouldn't even attempt to cook them. I'm in a strange mood to jack with you guys, so... <laughs> I apologize if you get offended. Don't be offended. I am just jacking with everybody tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. What, what hormones are kicking in? All right, let's put a little bit more balls to the middle. Look at this. Your trees are trying to starting to turn. Get out of here, Jody. Jody, come in here bragging about her trees starting to turn. Jody, brag. Huh. If you guys are over here on Facebook, Nicole just posted the supply list, so it's good to go. If you're watching somewhere else, go to cleese.com. At the top of the page, you can click on supply list. And you can get a link to the latest one right there. <laughs> you guys know I'm just kidding with you. I'm just not normally so kitty. I don't want anybody to get pissed off and cause any kind of drama. But 
I need sugar, Brenda. <laughs> right, Terry? Oh, Terry's got a great comment. I'm not responsible for my attitude past 70 degrees. Right on, Terry. Amen. I need that on a t-shirt. I need that, like, scream it from the hills. Now, this is really stinking cute. Really cute. Look. Ready? Look at this. Look at this. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no, close. No! No, don't freeze. Here it is, guys. It's a TikTok. Viewers over here. Ah, uh, hit hit makes it heat makes us dizzy dizzy. See? Makes us dizzy. Ah, uh, sugar. Sugar's what I need, sugar's what I say. I think it turned out really cute, y'all. I love it. I think it's a really fun, fun arrangement. And I think what I might do is take some of that black candy corn ribbon and just add it right here and put a simple little bow right here. I think it turned out super duper cute. And I've got to put this in the store. I'm gonna merchandise it with our candy corn wreath. Let me show you guys that. Here's our kitty wreath with the uh, pumpkin and the candy corn. I found in. This is the really super simple one we made with the pumpkin and the candy corn. Little candy accents. We're gonna put that together. I'm gonna to put them with those candy jars we made and we gotta put them with the big candy corn. Where's the big candy corn? I think the big candy corn is already at the store. But, y'all, we're going to put it all together. Isn't it cute? Ah, oh, this was so fun to make together. So, if you're on TikTok, this is what you're going to see tomorrow. A video of this thing just spinning. It's just so satisfying. I'm going to take it outside and spin it. And uh, then the rest of y'all go melt candy corn and stick some other stuff in it and report back the flavors you get. Because apparently you get massive amounts of flavors. And I want to I want a full report next time we're together. Okay, Blue Marinos, I'm out. Peace out. Y'all get the supply list. Please.com. Y'all know. Thanks for being here. By you going to our website and purchasing something from us helps support our family. And the ability for me to continue to go live and not have to get a job somewhere else. I can make beautiful flowers with you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time, Blue Marinos. Bye, everybody. Oh, sugar. Do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey.